day viewers and welcome to another edition of the Social Development Outlook for Tuesday, 25th, 2020. I am your host, Remy Gums. And just to remind you that this program is hosted and produced by the Communications Unit within the Ministry of Social Development and every single week we try our utmost to showcase the essential performances of this ministry and other related departments. At this point in time, we'll take our first break and be right back. If you're HIV positive or have an STI, having unprotected sex with multiple partners puts them in grave danger. You'll expose every partner and their present and future partners to HIV or another STI. Use a condom every time you have sex. You can live a productive life even if diagnosed with HIV. Remember, early detection is key to your survival. Be responsible, protect yourself and others. Help stop the spread of HIV and other STIs. And we're back. Neville Sutton of Valens celebrated his 99th birthday on the 30th of January at his own residence. We'll now take in some clips from this footage. Good afternoon, beautiful people of Rollins and from the surrounding areas of Nevis. And this afternoon we are gathered here by Neville Nathan Sutton for his 99th birthday. And we give God all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. And if you look on his cake, you'll see his words, which I know him usually say, hold on to God's unchanging hands. And we know it's because he has been holding on to his hands. That's why the Lord has kept him for 99 years and going strong. And so we give him all the glory, honor, and praise. Okay, and we see we have here with us this afternoon the Sugar Mill. Sugar Hill. Sugar Mill Hill Band. <laughs> so we are going to ask them now to do an item for us. Because we know Brother Neville loves to dance. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And now we're going to open the floor to anyone who would like to say happy birthday, congratulations, greetings to Mr. Neville. 
Anybody at all? Family, friends, string band players, cooks, neighbors, anybody? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Henry. I'm born in right down the Malibar there. My mother, Mary Freeman, and James Powell. I went to England when I was 21, and every time I come back to Nevis, and I came, I visit Neville, because he always give me, said, give your heart to the Lord, and everything will be all right. And whenever I come, he said, Henry, boy, that are you? And I said, Neville, I know that if I live to be, I'm 81, I'm going 82, but if I live to see 99 and still could speak about the Bible like Neville, I give God thanks and praise. So thank you, Neville, once again. And if I live to come back again and again, I will come and see you. I live to see, I hope you live to see a hundred years. Kind of no country will be celebrating a hundred times as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good afternoon to everyone. I just want to wish Neville blessed and happy birthday. 99 years, I'm 61. I said, oh my, I still have a good way to go. But thank God. Neville, God bless you. You have lived a life. And because of good health and strength, you know, the Lord caused you to live 99. It's only one thing, though. The last time this kind of music play is when your son passed in the church and we had a good dance you was up and standing and we danced together but now you're sitting and dancing but give god thanks anyhow all the best wish you many more happy birthdays god bless thank you good afternoon everyone i'm his stepson robbie you know he, he encouraged me a lot of times because he's a christian i'm also one of, and you always encourage me to do good. And, and you know, he's very uplifting. Every time I come, he always gives give me good encouragement. And I always have to just keep holding on to, to live to see 99, and then the 100, God will take you through. May God bless everyone this afternoon. Thanks. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to say um, a happy birthday to my grandfather, Neville. You know, he is 99, and I know a lot of people have lived beyond 99. So, social services is here, department recording, and the next time someone comes recording, it will be the Guinness Book World of Record because we will supersede <laughs> beyond. <laughs> 100, oh, yes. like we probably were on 200 also, because I know this guy have a lot of energy, you know what I mean? As you can tell by his voice and his dancing, you know, this is full of character, you know. Good guy, good, um, <laughs> good for encouragement. So, just want to say happy birthday to my grandfather on his 99 win. All right. And I'm going to have a presentation by the Honorable Eric Evelyn, Minister of Social Development. Thank you very much, Trudy. Let me say good afternoon to everyone who is here. And a very special, special good afternoon to the man of the hour. I like how Jeff called him. He's the dedicated and committed soldier. Because, of course, all of us know Neville. Many, many years ago when he soldiered around Nevis, especially in Gingerland, to bring the word of God. And we heard him today in church. He indicated that it was, he was not alone, but the others have gone. And God has kept him for a purpose. I'm always very excited when I go to these um, functions to celebrate our seniors. And I'm always extra excited when I'm in Gingerland. Because I always have bragging rights in Gingerland. Because it seems as though Gingerland is the capital of longevity. Gingerland is the capital of long livers. And we are here today because Neville is 99 not out. You heard me right. 
Neville is 99 not out. And I am extremely confident that we're going to be back here the same time next year for the century. All he needs now is a single. And I know he has his bat in his hand. And he won't drop that bat until he gets that single. Right? Never mind he can't walk. He's going to run over the crease and get that single. Right, Neville? Yeah. All right. <laughs> he will get over there and get that single to reach the century mark. And as I said, Gingerland has a habit of producing centenarians. And I believe that the next one is in line sitting right here this afternoon. And so we are here from the Ministry and the Department of Social Service to celebrate with him. We're very delighted to be here. And this is a huge milestone. 99. He's right at the door. Looking in. And do not drop the bat. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. All you need to do is guide it through the slips. And you got your single. Right? You have your single. Now, I'm very happy as well. That we are here celebrating him at 99. And we are at his own home. He's not laid aside in any other home, but he's here at his home at 99. It's not sometimes we go to celebrate persons at 80 and they're not in their own home. At 90, they're not in their own home. But at 99, we are proud that he is here in his own home. And it shows... It shows that he is being well taken care of. Very well taken care of. And I want to salute his daughter, Catherine, my good friend, and Kethron for doing, I would say, a marvelous job with Neville. We know that he has gone through some trying times. He has gone through some periods of illness. He has been hospitalized. But through thick and thin, he has come back to his home and as he testified in church today he's getting excellent treatment so I want to salute and congratulate um, Catherine and Catherine and the extended family and friends who look out for Neville here at his own home I'm sure even though he cannot walk we would all um, agree that he's looking fabulous at 99 he's looking very well at 99 and it shows that apart from the fact that the, he has been getting good care, God has been good. God has been merciful to him. And it's because he has labored well in this part of the vineyard. Yeah. He has labored very well. And God is giving him his reward. Yeah. And so I want to agree with grandson Ketron that maybe you might be going into the World Book of Records. Right? So continue to bat. Yeah. Right? And so we want... On behalf of all of us at Social Services, to say a very happy birthday to him shows that hard work don't kill anybody. Hard work only makes you stronger. Right? I'm sure he has worked very hard. He has toiled long and hard in his young days. And it is good now that he's unable, that he's been very well taken care of. And that is what we like at Social Services. We like when people, we like when family members take care of their parents and their grandparents. Some are not very fortunate. Some have all the 10 and 11 and 15 children and they're still laid up somewhere. Right? And it is very, very fortunate for Mr. Neville, Nathan Sutton, that he's getting such fantastic care. So I want to congratulate you once again. And as I said, we are here from Social Services to wish you a very, very happy birthday. May God continue to bless you. And I personally am looking forward to be back here. It's going to be much bigger celebration next year, right? We look forward to the century mark in 2021. And now we'll make this presentation on behalf of us at Social Services. Very happy birthday. We love you. Continue to bat and may God continue to bless you. At this point in time, we'll take our final break and upon returning, 
we'll go straight into our feature presentation for this evening. Sex is the best sex. No love, no love. Protect your pleasure. Real men wear condoms. It's your favorite DJ Kevy Kev saying, don't be silly, cover your willy. This message was brought to you by the Nevis HIV AIDS Coordinating Unit in collaboration with NTB Valentine is a time of love not only for our young ones but also for our seniors. The seniors held their annual Valentine's Day luncheon over at the Jessops Community Center. And without further ado, we'll go straight into some of these excerpts. And 
once again we are here for another Valentine celebration. And you know, we love you all so much that we celebrate you all through the year. But we always have to make sure that we celebrate you on this special day called Valentine's Day. And it's always a pleasure to come to be amongst you when you are always looking so lovely in your red and your white. And it seems as though every year you all look better and better. You all glow brighter and brighter. And it seems as though some of you are not getting any older. You're getting younger. Because every time I see some of you, there is that spark. And so I'm very happy to be here amongst you once again for this Valentine's celebration. I want to specially welcome and recognize all the new persons among us. Can the new person stand up please? Because I did see some new persons today who have not been with the program before. All of the new persons please stand. Please stand. This is 2020. And we are giving them a big, 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 big round of applause please. And I'm sure you feel very welcomed amongst all of the lovely seniors here. So I want to take this opportunity to welcome you as well. Thank you very much. I want to take this opportunity to welcome our new persons with us. And I'm happy that the hall is practically full today. Because this morning when I listened to the weather report, and I heard we're going to be having rain today, I said, I am wondering whether or not our function will be affected. But God is good all the time. All the time God is good. And I know, I know my senior as well. And I know whether it's rain or sun, you all are going to be here. So I am delighted that you all are here. You all are looking very special as usual. And I'm always very happy when the seniors division, they have my very full support. Any activities they're having for you, the seniors, they have the full support of myself and my ministry. And we want to continue to make all of you feel special because you all are special. And as we celebrate this Valentine's Day, let us always remember, let us always remember to show love to all of who we come into contact with. Amen? Can I get an amen? This shirt that I'm wearing here, right, is one of the seniors actually gave me this shirt, you know. <laughs> yes, not the tie, the shirt. Because I remember one year I went to a function for Valentine's Day and I was not wearing red. And one of the seniors insisted you got to wear your red next year. And so one of sweetheart stand up, if you gave me the shirt, give her a round of applause. as well as him. It's nice to have you. And it's good to be here to celebrate with the seniors. So as I said, whatever we do, we can show up in so many ways. You don't have to be able to give somebody something to give them love. That love, once you have it in your heart, the heart is what the love emanates from. So when you go around and you greet people, you are showing them love. So whatever you do, Make sure that you show love. Love is what have us here today because you know what? It was God's love. That first love that came from Jesus. Why we are here today and why we are standing. Give the Lord a hand. So, whatever we do today, whatever we do tomorrow, whatever we do next week, whatever we do next year, let us all continue to show love. We from the ministry and department, we love you, and that is why we are doing this for you. So, may God continue to bless us all, and may he keep us in good health and strength. And I want to take this opportunity to wish all a very happy, happy Valentine 
I love you all. God bless you. And that's our package for this evening. I am your host, Remy Gums, bidding you a pleasant night's rest. And remember, tune in next Tuesday for another edition of the Social Development Outlook.